well guys, uh, we don't get to do this very often, but it's all in the name of research in an absolutely pristine environment. Um, a marine sanctuary untouched by most anglers or any anglers except for the research guys and uh, perfect weather, great sea. A couple of big wave garrick tag, five of them in all, the 18's on the board with five fish so far and uh, we're proceeding up to a, to a, to a wreck that's just, just visible on the low tide and we're going to try and get out there and get some baits there. There's obviously a couple of potato bass there um, and maybe a few other big reef fish. In fact, if we get a potato, we've got a little uh, little sample box with alcohol in it and we're going to have to clip a couple of fins and, uh, and put them in there for research as well. So hopefully we can show you a potato bass in the camera. Yeah. Oh, well, you see, you see me doing all my, all my chores, my scientific chores, yeah, making sure that I get it right. So I might crack the knot again at some stage. <laughs> we just come to a new area. Uh, looks quite uh, small, fishy. So I'm going to scale down a bit. I'm going to take the wind cast and then the light salt eager. I'm going to put a double hook trace and fish for a couple of tag fish. We fish for those big fish there at the, at the wreck. I got cut off by a very nice kingfish, and Cassie got a. Lovely stumpy, so uh, he's on the board, and uh, let's get a couple more fish to take. Uh, let's just go through a bit of the tackle I was using today. Uh, obviously, I said I was going to give the wind cast 5 5 a test, and it came through with flying colors. We waited with it. Excellent, excellent, excellent grinder to use in the rocket surf division. As I say, the grinders have taken off quite a speed at the moment, especially in the competitive arena. Uh, with the with the batting of the slide, and this is definitely one you must have a look at. Coupled with that, I had 50 pound Daiwa tournament braid. It's only 026 millimeters thick, which is really really thin and throws really nicely. And then obviously what you can do is you can put like a 100 pound leader on here if you want. Probably a good idea if you're fishing in the stones here. We did get cut off twice, and once was through 100 pound leader anyway. So yeah, there's some good fish here, and uh, it's a good reel to start with. Mike just got a lovely potato bass, and that's exactly what we, it's exactly what we've been looking for, because uh, they actually want to do a study on them. They want to do a genetic study. So each of us in our little box is given a little vial uh, full of 95% proof alcohol, and Bruce is going to take a couple of clippings of it and just put it in there. They're going to send it away for genetic testing. So that is absolutely awesome. What a great fish! And with that, uh, we're going to close the show, and. Uh, Slowly, slowly, we're going to get you into this whole tagging thing and we'll go through it with you step by step as we go along. So I hope you've learned something today and gained a bit of respect for the scientists and the work they do for us. And uh, look out for us. We'll see you next week. Cheers.